welcome back to my channel it's always exciting to be here with you on sundays and it's exciting here in finland because it's summer yay the sun is shining okay so in today's video i'll be talking about how to search and also apply for a phd position in finland um some of you have been requesting this video and i thought it wise to do justice to you because i've been talking about masters and bachelor's programs so here we are you get what you ask for okay <laughs> so where do you start from you can start from study in finland um i will leave the link in the description description box below i just want to reiterate that please try to check the description box of each video because there are a couple of you know links that are really really important that you just need to click on them and it will take you to this website okay so i will put in the link in the description box below so you have to go to study in finland website then type so you can either search the university through studyinfo.fi or you can just go directly to the university website so that's where you need to start from if you want to apply for a phd position but if you want if you're looking for a funded phd position then it's like you're applying for a job right so you can check um jobs in finland um i will also put the link to this website in the description box from so there you will see PA, funded phd positions they are always coming up okay so it's just like job advertisement you can also um check academic positions i will still leave the link in the description box below where you can find some funded open phd positions okay so now let's get back to those who just want to apply for a phd position like not necessarily like funded phd because it can be funded while you are while you are pursuing it okay so now what are some of the requirements that you can you have to take into consideration even before applying for a phd position the first thing is you should have a master's degree um yes like when i got my master's um degree certificate it was written there that i am eligible for a phd position okay so you have to also it, it and that doesn't mean i will just go and just apply for any phd position no you also have to check the phd positions that we that kind of relates with your research you know with your previous research, maybe in your master's thesis or it should correlate with what you what you study and what you're going to study so you should keep that in mind so that brings us now to the next requirement which is a supervisor this is very important like this is a starting point you should start looking for your supervisor way before you apply you even apply for the mass for the phd position okay and when you go to the university website you find um there will always be supervisors there you find your contacts are always there you search your department department for example if i want to apply on a, um the faculty of philosophy then i will go under the faculty of philosophy and then i will be able to see um potential supervisors and then send them an email explaining that this is the my field of research this is what i would like to do um if, uh, if i'm doing my phd study okay so what about what other requirement um a study plan so your study plan should cover four four years because phd positions are four years unless maybe some funded ones are like two years three years but it's four years so your study pro your study plan should be like what you're going to do you know during these four years so, and so these are some of the things that you need to do way before even you apply so the next thing you need to do is to have your um funding plan you know kind of it's like you what are some of the areas in your research that you need funded you know and how do you want to go about them where do you want to apply for them um there is, there are um different um funding platform like platforms where you can find funding like edufi edufi fellowship there you are able to apply for funding um, for your research in them and then one more thing i want to add about the requirements is uh, 
how for you to prove for you to prove your language proficiency is very important i think if you've studied here in finland if you did your master's here in in in, in a finnish university and in entire in english then i don't think you need to um prove you need to take any international english test anymore um or it just depends on the language in which you want to pursue your phd because you can want to pursue your phd in finnish and swedish so it is very important for you to take all this into consideration but i'm talking to international students so obviously english should be the main thing okay all right so what next now let's talk about the application periods okay um normally the application periods are autumn and spring just like masters and bachelors program but um each university has its application times so i choose two universities and then i kind of i look at their application times the first one is a university of helsinki in the university of helsinki the uh, applications uh, uh the application time is april um september november and, and january but if you studied in university of helsinki if you did your masters in university of helsinki then there is this um, application period for july only for those who completed their master's uh, degree in university of helsinki so but if you're coming if you're an international student you can apply in april you can apply in september november so january so if you're planning to apply this year then you still have time to prepare in before september november or um uh or January and only some particular uh, programs are open during these different times okay so it's really good for you to get familiar with the website also get familiar with the program where that you want to study because when you get familiar with it you will know when the application period is open for that particular program okay so the next university that I looked at um, is University of Eastern Finland Okay, I really love this university. I don't know why, because they have amazing um, PhD programs there that I really love myself. Um, um, the application period times are March. It starts from 1st of March to April. You can apply then that has already passed. But there's another one from September to October. Okay, so you still have time if you, if you are planning to apply for a PhD position. Like I said, check the universities check their criteria check their application times it is very very important so now if you some of you may be asking oh how do i if i don't what if i don't get funding what if what if what if what if fees and every other thing um i just want to mention that um phd positions are tuition free you don't need to pay fees okay for you don't need to pay fees uh and also you 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 can work while studying if this video was useful to you the least you can do for me is to please 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 subscribe to my channel share with friends and encourage them to subscribe too okay all right for now enjoy the sunny weather and have an amazing week ahead okay bye <music>